Welcome to Zero Page Homebrew, your best source for the newest Atari games. And tonight we have <laughs> an exclusive premiere of a new game. Uh, it is called Mouse Line Ooh. by Daryl Genther, Daryl1970, who Yay! is in the chat. Hey, Daryl. Thank you for staying up with us, Daryl. Uh, we're also going to be playing, uh, we're going to be playing a bunch of games mm -hmm. on a bunch of systems. Yay. The 7800, the 2600, Ooh. and the Jaguar. Covering all the bases today. Because <clears throat> uh, a whole bunch of people, all of a sudden, for no reason... No reason whatsoever. ...made a bunch of pack line ports. <laughs> uh, oh, <laughs> wonder why that happened. No idea. <laughs> Woohoo! So we're going to play four of them tonight. That's exciting. And there's even two Intellivision ones that were made really? as well. Really? Yeah. That's really cool. That's awesome. And uh, we're not going to be playing those. Um, but... <laughs> Because I don't have the intelligent hooked up, and we're all about Atari here. Um, yes, James did start a trend. Well, a whole bunch of people said, "Hey, if James can do it, <laughs> anyone can. Anyone can do Even it." Even the cats. The cats have started on one too. Have you? They're gonna do the Lynx port. Apparently. Oh. Are you the? You can do a cat port. It's all cats. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Bernie must fall <laughs> apparently. And we're also gonna be playing uh, Maze, a new Jaguar game as well, which nice. I've wanted to fit in for a while. Leave him alone. Leave him alone. Um, <laughs> so there's a whole bunch of symbols i'm not going to get them all there. no no it might be um, a bit much too many um but first i want to thank the twitch subscribers yeah. 8 bit poet alda for andrew atari atari yeah. united 74 atari age Bip, blip squeak a beer poke bruno stacks Ch captain classic chel stunny mal charles will and chitla sirena reboot dianoid drexel duck mook house gizberto rondinella Great Defender, Ground Trooper, Araldo Urju, <clears throat> JG, KSPSX, Johnny WC, Computer Ken, uh, Coder, Carl G, Kara Kak, Croco 2600, Veltiver, Lambda Express, Mandy Sipping Tea, Mark Yannis, Mark Spacing, Mick Muse, Mike Soul, Mike Littell, Miss Command, MK Swift, Mr. Fix, Nathan Strum, Neo Media, Nostalgic Pseudo Graphics, Coog, Arantros, Render Ghost, Printless VG, Retro Gamer, Retro Gamer, Reventuli, Ricardo Pim, Six Suite, Smitty B, Spiceware, Spinley, S. Ramirez, The D Train, Tiki Dan, KT, Foes, TM Events, Trek, MD, Tweeny, Vexorx, VV, Double Down, and X Camp Woo, X. And if you want to support you. the show, just like Pseudo Graphics, Gamma Dev, Dan AVC Woo. and Al Nefer did Woo. just before the show. You can nice. too. Excellent. Just hit subscribe. It's mm. free with Amazon Prime. Right, cats? They've tried to subscribe, but they don't have Amazon Prime. No, they won't. They want to. No one will give them a, a credit card for which no. to. Uh... And they have no money. Yeah. They just have meows. Yeah. Uh, it seems that James is a role model for 8 bit programmers. <laughs> yes. Oh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, yeah, the Lynx is the only one now. That doesn't help. Wow. Them. Well, there you go. I Someone mean, technically the fifty two hundred, but the eight bit by Vitoco could probably easily be converted yes. to that. Yeah. Yeah. An Atari ST, I guess. Uh. Um, um so let's just take a quick look at um the Intellivision ones. We're not gonna play them, but uh the first one was Atari twenty six hundred land. Who does a lot of 2600 small 2600 games okay so he uh started posting posted his on thursday to begin with um i don't have a video of it in action um but there is the screen hmm. uh it looks very nice it does look nice look Act at that font very yeah, nice very font. nice um daryl was asking i can't find the amazon su su subscribe now there's like a little um what do you want to call it switch Mm. Like it, you have to kind of scroll down, and there's like a little switch for Amazon, and then it gives you the option. It's really weird if, mm. if you're on your phone. Okay. Um, it is not easy to find. They they actually kind of bear, bury it so yeah. that they're they like, no, want no, you, you want to spend money. <laughs> yeah, they probably want you to pay yeah. actual money rather than their money. <laughs> yeah, can't can't trust cats with credit cards. Always bat them under the sofa. Oh, they're terrible. Yeah, and they're buying like catnip and treats. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Maxing it out. And then uh, Brian's uh, Man Cave uh, was uh, working on one as well. Uh, Brian Puddin, who has a show that uh, shows video games, uh, um, classic games as well. Um, so he is working on his own Miss Ms. Paku Paku. Mm. And I think he changed it once he found out Atari 2600 Lan was making one. He made his just a little bit different with the graphics nice, and the name. Nice. Yeah, so. Ms. Paku Paku. Nice. Ms. Paku Paku, nice. yeah. <laughs> um, 
Um, there's some news about Jaguar. Mm -hmm. uh, very cool news, actually. Um, let me switch over to that. And there is a video kind of demonstrating what's going on. Uh, and it says, you see that red light on the game drive? That's accessing graphic assets from the SD card file system to load the next scene. Ooh. Thanks so much to CJ Reboot, whoever he is. <laughs> Sporadic Soft and the Retro HQ for making this possible. So that means multi-load games or... Oh, Yay, thank you so much, Daryl1970! Uh, multi-load games or continuous load games. I pretty much infinite storage mm. similar to how the movie cart works where it's just going to the sd card constantly sierra reboot said i made the red leds Ooh. <laughs> that's that's a big contribution fanciest part yes um there's also some update regarding Mortal Kombat for the jag that that guy's constantly updating actually yeah uh every every month or every couple months yeah they put a nice. new video nice um and it says, you see that red light in the game drive? Uh, no. So, and on Facebook, he also said, you're no longer limited to just two to six megabytes of data. It's more like an unlimited Jaguar CD storage. So mm. as big as you want. As much. Okay. So Jaguar games are now unlimited size. Wow. Okay, cool. So get to it. <laughs> <laughs> make those Lawrence, really big Make those Jaguar big games. games. Yeah. Yep. You can make put movies on the cartridges now. Ooh, yeah. uh, basically unlimited, though I doubt anyone is going to make over 32 or 64 gig mm. Jaguar game. Uh, no update on the game drive is required. Mm. There was an update to the development tool so devs can use the game drive features. So you don't even need to update your game drive. The game drive? It just works. Oh, that's very cool. Um, he also goes on to say, um, I will say that the things you can achieve with larger bank switching ROMs on top of a GD file access on the Jaguar is insane. I'm working on a Sims-like space simulator called Skylar that will hopefully put the whole is the Jaguar truly 64-bit debate to rest once and for all to prove how insanely powerful Jag Studio is. Feels like what you would expect out of the code Jag, for example, having all that extra storage space and ROM-based assets uh, should have a preview of that by Jagfest to show. And I believe Jagfest is in the summer, June? Jagfest, yeah. cool. <clears throat> um, I am not familiar with Kojag. What is Kojag, Cyrano? Does it make the Jag better than blast processing? 100%. 100%. Okay, let's get on to the first game because I know Daryl is uh, slowly closing his eyes. It's sleepy time for him. <laughs> okay, fair enough. So we'll get right to it. Uh, it is called Mouse Line uh, by 20th Street Arcade. Daryl Genther, Daryl 1970. Nice. Uh, this is an exclusive world premiere. Ooh. Uh, 48k game, all other games made by Daryl, Block'em Sock'em, uh, Cyber Morph on the, Morph on the 2600, um, Pango, Popeye 7800, Rat Trap, uh, Unicycle Balloon Kicker for the 2600, and tons of hacks for 8-bit, 5200, and 2600 games. He messaged me on the weekend mm. with a game he put together very quickly, he said. Um, he said, I'm really impressed with Pac-Line. I, I'm guessing he meant mine. <laughs> and I enjoy the play mechanics. Or it could be the other people's. Yeah. Uh, I didn't invent the game mechanics. Uh, <laughs> I thought that it probably wouldn't be too difficult to do it in a 7800 basic. I wanted to capture that uh, nuance of the monster slowly overtaking Pac-Man. So I was going to create the two sprites on screen. Mm -hmm. I drew a few 12 by 16 placeholder Pac-Man monster sprites and had Pac and the monster in place. It was kind of quiet, so I grabbed a couple of sound effects from Mousetrap just for noise. Let's take a look. Uh, Kojag is the arcade version of the Jaguar with a th R3000 instead of a 6800 6, and some extra RAM. Oh, well, let's see. So it's an arcade version of the Jaguar. That is very cool. So let's switch over to the gaming. Let's switch over to the correct one. There we go. So we're going to quickly look at his first version, which is just pack line. He was going to start doing pack line. Cute. Uh, so there's some shading on the Pac-Man there. There's no sounds. Or is there sounds? No, there's sounds. Oh, there is sounds. I can hear sounds. There we go. So he's got the mouse uh, uh, rat trap um, sound. Jump, 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 jump. 
Uh, he's got collision nice. with the like enemy, a uh, death, which I'm yeah. going to add into my game as well. Banana peel death. The banana peel. I love the banana peel death. <laughs> His Pac-Man kind of looks like a fortune cookie with the rounded... A little inner, bit, yeah, yeah, yeah. rounded mouth. Yeah, I like that. Too. Yeah. You're, you're guiding a... Um, a fortune cookie. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's what that's what he quickly threw together, and then um, I'll give this to you. Okay. And he says, "I thought, why just grab all the sound effects? I have all the sprites already drawn, including some maze elements. So I copied all the sprites into the directory. Let's go up. Yep. Go to mouse line. Mouse line. Whoop. There we go. Um, and I added a simple row of cheese." One thing led to another, <laughs> and I had mousetrap characters playing with Pac-Man rules. Nice. Eat the bone, the cat runs, eat the cat. I didn't have energizers in the original pack line, so bones were the first power-up. I was done, but I wasn't. Why not why not just collect the bones? Maybe a limit of three instead of mousetrap six bone limit. Mm. Press the button to change. I added that. Well I guess I should add lives. I guess I should show what level one's on. I guess I should add high score. Mm -hmm. I guess I should throw in the prizes. But there shouldn't be worth as much as Mousetrap. So, um, this one's a little different. All these games we're going to play tonight are a little bit different. They're, they're like tweaks they'll play on the pack line. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Which is, which is fun because yep. you get a different experience. Okay, so you, when you get the bone, yes. just like in Mousetrap, yeah. it, you don't turn right away. You, you, you get to choose when you turn. And you push the button, right? Yeah. So, okay. other than that, it's very similar. Okay. So go for it. No, and the bonuses don't move. They stay in one place. Okay. Uh, the mouse can go off the screen a little bit before wrapping. Also, the cat just oh. regenerates off screen. Uh, gotcha. Right away. Uh, so don't don't go off screen while while the cat is dead because it's in there. Yeah. Um, I thought about regen time, but I feel this adds a twist of not going off screen after eating the cat. It catches me when I'm in the hustle. Of course, scoring is different. Cheese is 90 points each. Oh, no. Bones are 150. Nothing in mousetrap. And prizes are 200 times the prize number. Uh, 0 through 31. Eating the cat is 500. Uh, on the first three creeping levels, the player, if the player connects the ninth prize, pliers, I think, the cat will speed up to normal speed. Uh, I found out it's still possible to camp out is just more inconvenient. There's a level timer now. I trigger Psycho Cat Mode. Psycho uh, Cat! If the player's on screen for over a minute, the cat starts surging oh. a little, making it impossible to get things without using a dog bone. This forces the player to move on. I use something similar after level 50. Maybe I need to tone it down. BBG Double Down says this looks fantastic. Cyrano says that darn cat. Uh, Daryl says I drew a lot of Pac-Man sprites in junior high. I was obsessed. <laughs> I don't have the high score plugged into That's okay. the seven eight hundred. I don't think. Good, good game. Good, good, good game. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. So, 42070. It's so cute. I love the sprites so much. So, really, you max out ah. at um, three bones. And he said you can hang around on the first screen just collecting the um, the bonuses. Oh, But after a minute, the cat goes crazy. Psycho kitty. And you have to be... Guess, guess, say. Da, 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 so, you have to be da, da, very ready da, da. for that cat because it goes nuts. So you have to press the button right before it gets you. I'm just going to wait. I'm just going to demonstrate the cat. I'm going to stay very far away from him. He goes very fast. Yeah, woo! Thousand! Ooh, oh, the yeah. apples are good! Yummy, yummy! Come on, cat. I'm waiting. I'm ready for you. Come on. Come on, psycho cat. <laughs> What was, what was the name of that? Was he Dit Ditch Cat? What was the name of the cat in that? Uh, um, oh, I ate it. Damn it. You should have seen my Trapper Keeper. <laughs> <laughs> Full Terrible. of Pac-Man. Uh, nope. It speeds up when you get to the wrench. The cat starts oh. lunging a little after that. Busted. Oh, so I didn't quite make it. I accidentally tried it. I have three, so I can use one up. Yep. Can I use another one? 
So every time you have three, you might as well press it just before. It's true. I do like the immediate respawning because there's no brick. You have to run away from the cat wherever it pops up. So. Yes. Uh, Daryl says, now the lev level timer is reset, so about a minute before crazy cat mode. <laughs> crazy cat mode. Oh. Oh, waste. Just you like the get other games. For it, though. Oh, eating the cat? Yes. Or eat, um, getting the bone, too. You do, but you get it anyway, so it's best not to waste it. So three. Use it. Ooh, wrench. Is that Crazy Cat one? Uh, I think he goes faster than that in Crazy Cat. And it's funny, the indicator is you in this game turning, not the cat. Like in the other ones, it's the ghost, right? Mm. You turn into a dog, just mm -hmm. like, just like most of them. Not yet, says Daryl. He's fast and crazy cat. I can't wait to see Sick him. cat. It's like cats at two in the morning. <laughs> oh! Who's so fast? Oh, I think it's time for crazy cat mode. No, 93. Okay, so we're trying. So what was it again for crazy cat mode? Uh, you have to get the wrench or the pliers. Okay. And then it. Uh... Okay. Daryl, is this, uh, is the high score thing set aside for the... Press the button. Waste. <laughs> um, is the is the high score set aside for the um, Atari Vox slash save key? Oh, it is. It's got its own uh, area. Reserved it. Wow, nice. So this can be saved. I should have plugged it in. Got a pretty good score. Ninety three thousand. Not bad, not bad. Um, uh, Daryl, will this be uh, released in the forums? Or are you going to be working on it some more later? Or That's the only information I can have. Oh my god, that was close. <laughs> Didn't even see you turn into a dog, it was so close. I think I'll release it. Awesome. It's really, really, really fun. And uh, the skinning of it with mousetrap. Adds, adds, Super cute. And and the twist that it has. That's on crazy Pac cat? Is that crazy cat? He went really he's, fast. He's pretty fast. I think yeah. he might be. I think he's faster than that, though. That's very fast. No, oh, Daryl okay, says faster. it's not crazy cat. Yet. Oh my goodness! It goes, so it goes even faster. Than so that. does he have to? Um, I know I wasn't. I was trying to talk. Um, how how do you trigger it again? Trigger what? Crazy, crazy cat, cat mode. Uh, by not getting all the cheese. By getting up to the wrench and then waiting a minute. He lunges on top of that. Oh, he lunges. Yeah, oh the cat. God. Got to see that one. You have to exist on a level for over a minute. Okay, so you, oh, okay. so I really want to see crazy cat mode. That's that's all I just. Hi. Right. I will hang around this level. These guys are like these two oh are like. God, you want to see crazy cat mode? We can give you we'll crazy do it. cat mode. <laughs> it's like just get Bernie in front of me. <laughs> I will I rip will him to shreds. Become Psycho Kitty. Yes. Psycho Kitty. You leave that Bernie alone. He's a nice guy. <laughs> Come on, kitty. I can't get that key, though. Uh, is it only a minute? On the, on is, the... is a minute the only thing that needs to happen? Well, maybe I could. Yeah, I could lure him over here. No, the wrench time is a little less than a minute. Okay. Oh, I see. So, how many people out there have started watching or finished watching Fallout, the TV series? Hmm. 
So we've been watching it. We've watched up to the third level. Third uh, level. Is he, is he lunching now? Third episode now. Did he lunch? Uh, no, it's much faster than this. Okay. Much faster, I believe. And yeah. I'm enjoying it. How, uh, how are you enjoying it, Tanya? I enjoyed it, says Rendered Ghost. I binged it on Friday. Binged it all. We haven't binged it. We've been kind of doing one a night. We were, we're kind yeah. of trying to stretch it out. Excellent. There. Absolutely. Oh my ah! God. What, he killed me in the passageway? Yeah. Oh, my God. He's lunging. That's <laughs> lunging. That was quick. That was a fast cat. Um, liked it very much. Uh, so far, we've, we've gotten to, what, episode four? Are we at four years? I think we just finished three. Yeah. Um, hi, everybody cats. Hi. Uh, uh, it feels, feels like, like the, game. the game. So, so much. Some TV The shows. characters are really, really good. The story so far is really good, too. It fits really well within the world. I was saying to you that um, it's just ridiculous enough that it feels like a video game. Like, they... There's there's elements of it that are pretty kind of bleak and raw, but the action, like the um, the fighting, the shooting, it's all, all is all curt a little over the top, and I, I like it. I like it a lot, actually. I think it, I think they've done a really good job with it. Yeah. The world looks exactly as you remember it in the game. Oh yeah. Um. Yeah. What is his name? Walton Goggins. What oh, a name. Oh, so good. He's yeah. really good in it. Yeah. Cat got the zooms. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Miss Command, I'm on episode two. Yeah. We're, we're, we're stretching it out. I, I yep. don't want to watch it all in one, one no. swoop. I think we're just kind of watching an episode a day. Gamma Dev finished. It was great. So great. People now want to replay 76 with fresh <laughs> eyes. Yeah, that is the one I, the one game I haven't played because it's the MMO, right? Yeah, so, it wasn't interesting. Yeah. He can kill you in the passage. Wow, Daryl. Oh, says, that's what yeah. happened. Uh, Cyrano, it was so good. I played 76 for an hour afterwards <laughs> and then uninstalled it. So I guess <laughs> it's eight times better than 76. <laughs> I'm guessing the makeup VFF VFX guys are Vats fans. Yeah. <laughs> I like the slowing down and the yep. slow motion. Yeah. Oh, ah, yeah, that's good damn. stuff. Yeah. yeah, everything's really well done. I think they've really fans of the game will love the show. They've done a, a really good job. I it. Aw, of the both the characters and the set design in the world feeling exactly like. Fallout 3 and 4 and New New Vegas. Uh, New Vegas. Yes. Is it New yeah, Vegas? Yeah, New Vegas. New Vegas, yeah. Yep, yep. And it's it's cool they've set it in a different area, so you get to explore that area, what happened to LA. Yep. So far, so uh, good. Excellent, excellent game. Awesome. Great Thank you, Daryl. Great adaption to the 7800. A, I love the twists on it. It's adorable. Love the skinning of it. Yeah. The alternate way of playing it where you get to choose when you turn i like that yeah yeah, yeah. that's really really cool Excellent. um i don't think it needs any changes i think the pacing is good in it because daryl was asking if i have to tone it down but i think it's it's good i could mm -hmm. play it up to 114 and it starts to get hard not impossible yet mm. yeah so it's a uh, really good game balancing mm. um so the next game is also on the 7800 Gamadev asks, is the main character in this Peter Packrat or Chuck E. Cheese? <laughs> Could be either. Yeah, so that will be posted <laughs> in the Atari Age forums at some point. Yes. So if you want to load up Lola Lines. Also, Ola Vitoko. Hola. Um, Lola. This is by Muddy, Muddy. Funster. Lewis Hill, Muddy Vision. This <gasps> build is from Cute. April 16th. <laughs> uh, first post on April 15th. It's 16K game. <laughs> it's Bernie! Yay! Um, he says, I've probably been living under a rock as I'd not really noticed the little 2D Pac-Man games that have been popping up. <laughs> I saw Zero Page Homebrew's lovely 2600 version, fantastic presentation and playability. And then I saw Cyrano J Jag version and was equally impressed. Fun little game, switch your brain off and enjoy. I've also found a lovely version for the Pico 8. That's the one that they stemmed from that that I was influenced by mm -hmm. was the Pico 8 version very heavily. 
Uh, I thought I'd knock up a quick 7800 version using assets that I already had sitting around. So yeah, similar that works well. to Daryl. Um, some will be very recognizable. <laughs> yes, they are. I started this Sunday night and finished it this evening. So probably about five or six hours spent on it. Yeah. As I predicted, very good developers can knock this out of the park <laughs> in about that much time. <laughs> takes me a month, takes them five hours. Oh, no. Because um, they, know, they know what to do, right? Um... It's rough around the edges, and there are a few glitches. That said, I present Lola Lines. Help Lola, <laughs> Bernie's lovely niece, oh. deal with the terrible tank she's trapped with. Look at that tank. Looks like a wheelchair almost. Uh, controls. Fire to start. Uh, restart on game over. This one is a little bit different, too. Uh, this one, uh, you get to control the movement. You don't automatically move. Oh, he comes around the corner. And he can come around the, Good the to side, know. too. Actually, that seems like a bug. He shouldn't be able to ever go around the side. What the? What, what just happened? Hot there? dog. Hot dog. Um, fire to start, restarting game over, left and right to move. If you go off the screen, you appear on the other side. Um, how to play. Collect the dots to score. Collect power potions for limited ability to kill tanks. Avoid tanks when not powered up. Once you've collected uh, one half of the dots, a fruit or goodie will appear and move in a random direction. Collect fruit and other goodies for bonus points. Yeah, you wrapped around. That is not, not correct. I don't know how that happened. Oh. Um... He wrapped around, right? Mm -hmm. It wasn't you. Hmm. Scoring. For each dot you collect, uh, you score equals to the current level. One point. Level one, one point. Level ten, ten points. Just like just like mine. If you kill a tank, you get ten times the current level as points. Just the same. Pick up a fruit or goodie, you get twenty times the current level as points. That's what mine has planned as well. Hot dog. Missed the hot dog. Uh, compatibility uh, works in the game drive. Disable brake to avoid slowdowns, which I did. And it works well. Potato or piece of bread? <laughs> um, to do, refinements on timing. Right now you can be stuck in an unfair position with no way out, so timers need a tweak or two. Ten levels, then it goes back to cherries. Maybe I'll add more appropriate bonuses. Burger! <gasps> Disappeared. The burger just vanished. Uh, let me know if you folks have any suggestions. Speed ups as you climb the level. Uh... Sound effects from 7800 Basic Example Library. Thanks, Mike. Uh, and this is the new demo, uh, demo two. Um, now added, now with added Wilf. So Wilf will make an appearance. Or he did. Ah, uh, don't. <laughs> uh, after level 30, the rewards revert to chocolate. Who doesn't like chocolate? Bonus points for tank kills and bonus items now scale to 30 and are boosted beyond 30. Collect all the dots in the level and the bonus is spawned. It will despawn. Oh, okay. So when the level is over, the bonus disappears. Just like that. I was wondering. So that is... That's a normal thing that does happen in this game. Daryl says, Well, James, I didn't need to create a display kernel, create sound effects, or draw sprites. True, those do take up a lot of time. Whoa, just in time. So it's just really the logic to it all. What was the inchworm? Yeah, Wilf. I think Wilf was on the title screen. I think I saw him on the title screen. You are dead. Okay. Yep. Never, ever, ever leave the middle ones. There ever, you go. ever, ever. Hi, Blackie. There he is. There he is. There's oh, Wilf. Wilf. He's crawling along. <laughs> He's so Under cute. Under the game over. Oh, so cute. So whatever you do, always get the middle. Always, always, always. Unless you have a power up. Ah! Just a course. second too late. Great sprites as always. Yep. Oh, yeah. Looking good. Yeah, I have to re reevaluate how you play after you play that other game. I know because it's, it's a like, different approach because you can hit hit the uh 
It looks like this one gives a little bit of... Well, there was a bit of an extended where he's flashing. Uh, I'll have to show you. Oh, where'd he go? Ah! Yeah, he, caught, he wrapped he around. He wrapped around there. Bug. So that there is... There is a bug. Well, yeah, he definitely wrapped around. I don't know why. Too. Ah! No! Oh, he gotcha. Not doing well. Not doing well. There, there. He just flashed when, after he hit the wall. He didn't change immediately. Thank you for following somebody. What's her name? I'm playing. I didn't see it. It's right there. Always right there. Give it up! Give it up! No, no, I've scrolled down. There we go. Uh, Looks backwards. I, can, I cannot see it. Travel by Connect Corb. Thank you! It's backwards. <laughs> Read it backwards. Is it backwards? What's backwards? Broken. I can't. I can't. Too small? Yeah, it is. Broken. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Give up. Yeah. Broken key something. Ah, I can't read it. <laughs> You'll name. die soon enough. Uh-huh. <laughs> oh, Bernie. Oh, or, the timer keeps Lola. running. That's what Lola. it is. So even after you get him, the timer keeps running. So watch. And this won't work here because he has a lot of time to get to the other side. Oh, no, you can see a little flash. Mm -hmm. So the timer doesn't get reset to zero for the flashing um, after you get the power up, which is fine. It doesn't have to. I like how you just see the eyeball. So technically, you could get him twice. Like if I wrap around here, oh, not enough time in that one. But early in the game, I think if you're fast, you could get him twice because he's flashing. You can get him when he's flashing? Like he goes there. Uh, there's not enough time now. The flashing is too low. But in the early, I'm going to try it the next game around. There, see? He's still vulnerable. Mm. Because the timer, I got him and uh, moved him over to the side really quickly. Interesting. He's gonna get ya! Nah. Ah! Maybe. <laughs> Chicken? Turkey. Wall chicken? Wall chicken! Woo! -hoo! Best kind of chicken is wall chicken. <laughs> wall chicken or floor chicken. <laughs> I prefer wall chicken. Wall chicken, yeah. Floors Hidden away are, a bit. Floors are a little dirty. Oh, made it to the chocolate! Muddy Funch says, uh, if you get another power up, it resets the timer. And yes, if you are quick, you can get two kills with one power oh, up. Oh, so you can get yeah. two kills. Ah, nice. So that's on purpose then. I think he has to be close to the wall, so there's yes. time. When you kill him. Like here. Now uh, he has to travel to the other side. It, it It's a very special circumstance. Yeah, I, I, yeah. On the first. No voting today? Oh, got yes. got no polls? Yes, there is a poll, actually. Is there? Oh, you forgot it. Yeah. Sorry, I wanted to get to, um, Daryl had to go to bed, so. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, I've wrecked it. I've wrecked it. I can no, only get I think that. you can get it. I think you can. Then die. No. Run! Oh my god, I could get it. I told you. Wow. I, I knew he wasn't quite fast enough yet. Yep, it rewards bold play. <laughs> <laughs> rewards risk takers. Oh, can I get him 
twice. Daryl says, I really hate to go to bed, but I will be a mess tomorrow <laughs> if I don't. I look forward to catching the others on replay. Good night, Daryl. Good night, Daryl. Thank, Thank you for you joining for us. Letting us premiere your game. Yeah. This, this is great, too. It's really fun. Of course, Bernie. Bernie! Gets, <laughs> gets to star in the game. Oh, we love Bernie. So do the cats. They love Bernie a little too much. Yeah, yeah. especially Atari. <laughs> Atari's a big fan of Bernie. I'm going to try and get him twice. Okay. Ah! Don't think. Mm. Ah, you ran off the screen. Is that a bug? See, that's getting, getting a second one. See if you get him, and then get him right away, but... Ah. If you get him and run backwards, would he go back to the other side? Maybe. Maybe. Oh, <gasps> ah, so, so close. close. Oh, yeah. Damn it. I don't think you can get him on the first one. It has to be a different one. Damn it. You pretty much have to get him immediately. There, mm. I did it. You can do it on the first one. Okay. I was trying to get that bonus, but hey, 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 hey. Okay, I'm done. Um, <laughs> Want to play it once more? Sure. So this one is available in the Atari Age forum right now. If you wanted to download it, um, it is very compatible with. Uh, let's see, Game Drive should work on the Dragonfly and Concerto, and all the usual uh, emulator options. So there you go. Disappears. Oh, ah! watch out. Oh, no. Muddy, is that a bug? <laughs> Where he disappears off the screen and just goes away just for a while? just comes right out. It's like, ah. <laughs> Hi. Um, okay. So, uh, let's start the poll. Okay. Um, and thank you, Muddy Funster, for that awesome version. So cute. We always love. Game. We always love. Uh, Bernie. Well, Bernie, Lola. Yeah, Lola, Lola, Lola has guess, has yeah. a little bow. Has a bow. A little bow. So on the, the eyeball. On the, the poll eyeball. question as relates to how we're going to be using three game systems tonight. Oh. Um, so the op uh, the question is, how many classic hey. systems uh, do you have completely hooked up and ready to play? Ooh. That means nothing. Can you stop it? Nothing that you need to plug in. You just turn it on. Pick up the joystick and play. Mm. Uh, would three Jaguars <laughs> count as one or three? I, uh, I would. I mean, I would count it way. because let's face it: who has three Jaguars plugged in at the same time? That's true. So yes, you, you can, have you, three you, Jaguars you, plugged <laughs> in at the same time. You may count your three three Jaguars in that. Yes. Um, so <laughs> I usually have two. I have the at almost any given always time. the twenty six hundred plugged yes. in, and then the other one. Whatever else. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So my answer is two. So the answer uh, answers are one for one, two for two, three for three plus, four is all of them. So I've seen uh, people's photos where they have just a wall yeah. and a SCART switcher and, and, and a, a CRT and a modern television, yeah. and they just have everything hooked up. Well, That's the dream. Pseudographic says I always unplug my systems from power, so technically none. Well, you could... Yeah, unplug yeah. them, saves them from lightning it does. strikes. It does. Yes, you don't want damage. That's true. Yep, yep, yep. But if a lightning strikes and gets into your wiring, you have a lot of problems. Yeah. Um, or five, zero. And you may just not have them plugged in at all. Um, I can't believe the highest number is three. I know, I know, I know, I know. I try and keep it to five options. Um, I could have done like a range one and then two to four and mm. five plus or something. It seems yeah. like a lot, but I'm a sure there are a lot of people who two. have systems set up, oh, as you okay. say, with switchers and that kind of thing. Yep, very true. Very true. Yep. 5,270. Polygox has five. No, he answered five. Zero plugged in. Oh, zero. Sorry. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> a Sega Genesis like, with all the lot. extension <laughs> cards plugs in counts as one and four at the same time. Yeah. Yes. Uh, funny, funny, funny. So a lot of variety. Yeah. That's nice, people, actually. People like their classic games. Um, classic so, consoles, I should say. Consoles. Like, ready to play on the original system. So, yep. yeah. um, so now we're going to move to the 2600. 
uh, with Boo Fruit uh, by Kiki PDPH. Nice. I'm just I'm just throwing it out there. If anyone is in the mood to feed the cats, now would be a good time. It's to a good do time so. now. I would say yeah. If not, that's fine. Yeah. But they, don't uh, it they have been. This black kitten has been very like politely meowing around us this meow. whole show. So meow. <laughs> meow. Stella. <laughs> is that what he's yelling? Yeah. <laughs> Gamma Dev. <laughs> Stop. Oh, this yeah. guy. There we go. Oh, What's oh. going on? Chalcedony meow. 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 Chalcedony meow. Yeah. Oh, do we have enough? Yeah. It's treat time. There's a bag up there too. Yeah, we have to go with the bag. There's not a lot. Not lots left. in either one. Mm -hmm. Okay, cats. Okay. Are you ready? Let's see if I can. Let's start. The, let's start the betting. Let's start the betting. Who are you going to bet on? Bet state. No, no! Why does he run out the door? I don't know what he thinks. <laughs> he thinks we're going upstairs or something. I don't know. Come in here. He's so funny. Let's start the betting. There you go. Woo! Predictions! As for I just received earlier today another CRT. Wow! Uh, this one outputs RF only. Outputs or has inputs of RF only? That's an old TV. Not that old. I guess from the 80s. When did they start having um, composite in? Ding, ding, ding. Know. Excited cats. Oh, yeah. Sprite is very excited. And Atari. So I don't know. I don't know who... Uh, they look pretty... Um, pretty excited, both pretty of them. Excited. So place your bets on Sprite or Atari. And... They're off the screen now. They're they're sniffing Come around. On. Back in Come the on. Screen. Come on. Show Come yourselves on. off. Show 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 off your show prowess. Off, yeah, your hindquarters like yep. you do with the horses. Check and, the teeth. Yeah, yeah. How are the teeth? Are the teeth good? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Nineteen eighty nine is when they had composite inputs. Started. Really? Hmm. Hmm. That sounds about right. Hi. Yeah. You got good are teeth. Are you excited? Yes, yes, you're very excited. Unless you had um a Commodore monitor. Which has composite input right in the front. Mm, and true. that was from the early that's 80s. That's early, yeah. Um, but that's not a television, <laughs> per se. That's a special. Over special under. Monitor. Let's see how, how yeah. it's going. What's the over under? Okay, we're seeing. Uh, oh, everything's oh, covered. A lot on Sprite, one it's to two, smart but bet. then a balance on the other other options. Some Atari three Atari. plus, Atari one to two. Yeah, twenty nine people, twenty nine percent of people are betting on Atari. Nice. That's pretty good. Yeah, they believe in you, Atari. little kitten. Yes, little guy. Now, yes. Don't steal treats. Oh, that's that's what does him in. It, yeah. Only get the ones. If you steal a treat, it's pretty rings. much game over, cat. You can't do that. No. Got about 10 seconds left to put Just your bets sure in. Just make sure the bells are far apart from each other, because that's when it goes a little crazy. Okay. We'll make yeah. sure they're quite far apart. Okay. Okay. We're ready. Whiny cat. Are you ready? Dan's going with Atari. All right. Okay. Back it off. Back it off. And go. Oh, and... Sprite! Oh, he stole it right away, and it, Sprite gets a second one because oh he, it was God. stolen. Atari. Atari, how could Buddy. you? Buddy, ring it, ring your bell. Sprite. No. <laughs> no. Put up no, a no. wall between them. Ring your bell. Ring your bell, Atari. Oh Sprite, my God. Sprite, more Atari, <laughs> wake up. Ring it. Ring that bell. Wake up. Wake up. Ring it. <laughs> oh my no, God. No. Throw it away so Atari doesn't get it. There, there we go. go. One point oh, in. Atari, come on, buddy. <laughs> oh, that's so bad. Now he knows what to do. Now there he's go. got the hang of it. Just got to keep it up. Softball. You can catch up. There you go. Don't encourage him. He doesn't no, need any. No. <laughs> there we go, Atari. Six oh, three for goodness. Sprite. Atari is now catching up. He was devious. He stole a bunch of treats. Didn't know where the bell was. Now he's going six four. Wow, what a there turnaround! Seven right? four. Next time, cat first. first yeah. Gotta dull the senses of that uh, black cat. Oh, I heard that. Did you? Yeah, oh, it was nice. very light, but he did eight, hit it. Eight five. Ooh, Ooh, it's almost I game know. point. Come on, Atari, get some more points in. There, there you go. go. Eight six. It's two points separating the cats. No, oh, soft right. paw. It is now. It is now game point. It, and Atari closes up. This is the, this is the decider. No, oh, it's over. Three over. points ahead. Three points ahead. Wow. 
by three Whiskers. Ooh, Atari. Stop stealing treats, buddy. That is a bad habit. So let's see who bet on. Oh, three people bet on Sprite three plus. Oh wow, three wow. plus. That's, that's, Someone that's usually did risky. pretty good there. So who were they? It was Pseudographics, Yay! the big winner of tonight. And two others. And two other people. Yeah, Danny VC, buy three whiskers. Buy three whiskers. Oh no. Yeah, next time catnip first. Yeah. Any TV with space in its model name rocks, yes. definitely. Pseudographics, yeah. I'm glad you tuned in then. Hey, Pseudographics. 9.3K, yeah, not bad, That's very not nice. bad. That's a pretty good win. Okay. These guys, Atari. Stop, stop it. Stop stealing food. Bad kitties. <laughs> He's like, hey, I'm the winner. I'm the winner here. I, I got so. the treats. Sprite still got more treats than, than him, even though he stole one did. treat. He only stole one treat. Well, he, he just gets so... He didn't get those treats, though. Did you give him another treat? So he didn't get those no. treats. So he got eight treats. And Atari got seven plus two, nine treats. No, so Atari got one extra treat. He stole two, didn't no, he? No, he stole one. Oh, okay. He only stole one. Yeah. Well, first time I went on ZPH predictions. Good luck in game, bad luck in luck. <laughs> oh, oh, no. Maybe this will turn your luck around. There you go. Yeah, you've got the luck of the cats now. So that's right. I feel like that's, go that's forward. gotta help. Go forward with the luck of the cats. <laughs> luck of the sprite. <laughs> luck of the sprite. Yes. Okay, so Love it's the... time for Boo Fruit. Irish luck of the sprite. Irish luck of the sprite. Well, he, uh, he does have uh, an Irish last name. He does? Yeah, yeah that's yeah. true. So, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> so, this is Boo Fruit Boo by Fruit. Kiki PDPH uh, Mirsad. It's a 32K game uh, post on April 14th. He also did Karamuho. Um, Karamuho. And Stellar Drive, Meow and Meow 2 as yeah. well. Um, he says, the game Boo Fruit is a simple game inspired by the characters from the Pac-Man game, nice. but with a different storyline. It's a simple 1D game, meaning that the gameplay occurs on a single Y-axis position on the screen. Mm -hmm. Welcome to Boo Fruit. Get ready for an electrifying gaming experience with Boo Fruit. In this <laughs> thrilling game, you take control of a spirited ghost, maneuvering it left and right with your joystick. So you play as the ghost in this game. Ah. So another little twist on nice. it. Nice. Uh, each one, like I said, each one is a little, a little bit twist. different. Yep. Uh, here's the twist. With the press of a button, you can change the ghost's color. Your objective is simple yet ta challenging. Match the color of your ghost with the incoming fruits. Failure to do so results in the end of the game. Each fruit successfully collects adds one point to, uh, collected adds one point to your score. But beware, as the game progresses, the speed of the incoming fruits increases, adding an extra layer of challenge to your ghostly adventures. Keep your reflexes sharp and your wits about you as you navigate through the escalating frenzy of Boo Fruit. Uh, uh, Mirsad, game developer and designer, Haroldo Herju, uh, game tester and advisor. So go for it. Okay, so say that again. I'm catching You're the fruit. You're the ghost. You're catching the fruit, but you must match the color. I have Press to? Press the button. Press the button. Uh, oh, I matched. Okay, this is what confused me. Okay, yeah. gotcha. She was. I, no, I... I was only partially listening. <laughs> Cats were distracting you. You got the hang of it. I'm going to disassemble Cute. the 7800. Well, you play. Disassemble? Oh yeah, my goodness. I guess you can only have one at a time. Yeah. Switch over the Jaguar. Not enough room. Oh, this is cute. I like the color matching. Yeah, it's super cute. Locking my screen. Ah. Ah, ha, ha. 20 points. That was not good. You can beat it. I know I can beat that. Realize it tells you what's coming. Oh, the next one, yeah. It's like uh, Tetris. Oh, I'm looking at the top now. <laughs> 
20 again. Come on. Uh, I like this. This is cute. It's very good. Hang oh on, how gosh. did the ghost stop, stop moving for a second looking. there? Let's did stop the ghost move, the stop moving? Uh... Johnny Five, no disassemble. Yes, disassemble. <laughs> so the ghost stopped moving? Did you see the ghost stop moving? No. I was I'm not always watching, moving, so... but I don't know. Did it? I don't think so. I don't know. Uh, I couldn't see. I was setting things up. I will watch now. It's got to be 20. I know, I keep... St Paying attention to the top instead of well, I think I noticed something is that the the colors are never the same colors twice. No. So you could always press it at least once. Yeah. To um, whenever you get one. So it'll get you a little bit faster, but. Oh, I'm uh... looking at the top. I keep doing it. <laughs> I hit level 20 and I look at the fruit at the top and it's like, no, look at the fruit that's coming. Oh, you got 21 one time. Is that... So, uh, so Mirsad's score is 64. Of course. And Geraldo <laughs> is tester. Nice. He's 42. Nice. Okay. Okay. So I think it's totally doable. I'm, I'm going to just grab Bye. something to drink. I will be right back. I also need to wipe Stink. the cats. Stink. Oh my God. After you've used the joystick. Yes. Good job. <laughs> Damn it. There it happened again. 47. <laughs> um, oh, 47. Might Good be something job. with your connection or our connection. Um, but it did definitely did not pause on the screen. Gamut of never the same color twice in a row. Same weakness as the Enigma machine. <laughs> oh, maybe we can crack the code. Yep. I didn't know that was a weakness of the Enigma machine. That's interesting. 47. So I beat Geraldo's score. Mm. And I do use the top. game too. I think, yeah, I know they, they're all different systems. Someone just needs a big compilation of all the pack line games that come out <laughs> after all of this. Oh, I'm oh no. Oh, sorry. Distracting you. Yes, you are. Maybe. A compilation. Yeah. They're all different systems. How do you I know that's what I said. You can't really do that. Only the ones on the same systems. <laughs> It was just the ghost that paused. The fruit kept moving. I remember the ghost pausing. Ah, 
distracting me. Mm. I'm thinking about things. The the, the ghost that paused, the fruit kept moving. I didn't or see I'm going that. nuts. Well, it could be that you adjusted nuts. it. No, <laughs> you adjusted it back and forth fast enough that it stayed in one place. I don't know. Uh, yeah. uh, possible. It's constantly moving. Yeah, unless you're on the edges, right? Uh, yes. Okay, I can't answer any more questions. <laughs> it's too much, too focused. I want to beat this high score. Ah, see, I talked and I paused. <laughs> what happens when you push up or down on the joystick, someone said? <sighs> I can't answer questions. Oh, Stop no, questions. you need to answer questions. There's no, questions in the chat. Nothing, nothing happens. Nothing happens okay. at all. <laughs> I can't answer questions. You didn't make it to 20. It, it does require a lot of attention. We'll give you that. Says I'm always yeah, the winner. Winner cat. Winner winner. Kitten dinner. Greeny dinner. Yes. <laughs> oh yeah. So you're lucky. Yeah, lucky sprite. I think we're all making notes and stealing ideas. <laughs> <laughs> game you could play, Sprite. Just back and forth on the joystick. Yeah, He's like, I will chase involved. the ghosts on the screen. You would chase the ghosts on the screen. He actually likes watching TV that involves cats. If we put on a video, a short video of a cat, he will watch the cat on the screen, which is very funny. Isn't it? that cat game for you. Like a tablet game, maybe. Hmm? Oh, damn it. 76. 76. Good job. Yay. <laughs> I beat Mayor's head score. I can retire now. <laughs> <laughs> We're just waiting for S. Ramirez to post his now. 300. <laughs> of course he'll dominate. <laughs> a very nice twist on yes. the single line eating... Like it's, it's, it's evolved into not even dots now. <laughs> uh, very, very cool. Always optimistic six, six digits. Six digit score, yeah. Hey, you might as well put on the screen if you have six digits to put on there. It just encourages people to keep playing. Like, oh, I wonder if anyone's ever gotten six digits. <laughs> oh, not in this one. No. Oh my God. Yeah. Three, yes. Four, no. No. <laughs> unless, there's a, unless there's a cap on the speed. Yeah. That you're not getting four digits. Three, I, I can see. I can see S from here. Yeah, yeah. I need practice. <laughs> um, let's see. Okay, now we're going to move on to the Jaguar mm. game. It uh, is Jumping at Shadow's Moth Line. <laughs> Sarah, no. Are you saying I went overboard with eight? <laughs> <laughs> Excellent game, yeah. Yeah, lots Excellent of fun. Game. Okay. Here you go. You have a cat? I have a cat. If you oh. want to play. Let's loading it. Let's load it up. Yeah. I'll read a bit about Bell it here. Stately. And it's got uh, the graphics on the side there. Nice. He is taking up a lot of space right now. We have our Jaguar here. Like yeah, jaguar rawr, rawr. this is a one meg game. Uh, it's by uh, Reboot, uh, Lauren Stavely, Cyrano J Code. Did you see that? Oh, I, I've seen this. Oh! A little tribute to me. Yeah, Thank you so that's much. So nice. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, Andrew Lex, a grad new, um, and William Thorpe, Bit Jag, and Sazdi Art for Pixels, and Rold Strauss for the music. 
Uh, he says, inspired by a recent Zero Page Homebrew stream, today we released Jumping at Shadows Moth Line for the Atari <laughs> Jaguar. This will be immediately available for download to patrons uh, on the top tier level. So if you are... Let's sell Boo Fruit. Oh, Boo Fruit! No! There we go. That's better. Thank so you, if Dan. you're a patron of uh, Reboot, mm. you can download this right now. If mm. not, you can sign up for it. Um, and it'll be publicly released a few weeks down the line. And there's actually a high score contest for this game being oh run by Machine. Nice. Again. Says it's time for another reboot. Now, this is this is pretty straightforward standard version of okay. the pack line. Okay. It's power up, enemy, yep. Down the line. Ah, <laughs> Something click down that shouldn't be clicked down? Yes. Yeah, joystick spinner? Yes. Okay. I don't know who pressed That's the button, but it wasn't me. Probably a cat. Uh, it gets smushed sometimes. Okay, just a little bit different with this. There is no flashing warning when it turns back. So you have to be very, very, very wary. It will reset though. So it will not flash when it's going to turn. So another time for another reboot contest. This will be the fourth contest this year. The games keep coming. Reboot does not sleep. <gasps> you can grab all the reboot patron games here in this link. Jumping at Shadows Mothline contest. A high scorer will receive a surprise Jaguar swag item. Don't think you can compete? No problem. One random person who submits a score will receive a prize. Everyone who submits a score will be entered into a second chance drawing, so post your scores. Contest runs until May 31st, so very, very, very long time. So a month and a half. Psst, psst. Stop it. Back cat. Uh, just post a picture of your score. You can post as many scores as you want. More chances for the second chance drawing. So you can flood the thread with scores of one point if you want <laughs> and the chance of you getting in increases in exponentially so the uh top score in this game right now is fifth five thousand eight hundred and fifty eight so that is the score to beat second place four thousand eight hundred and forty one so we're gonna give it a uh, run for its money of course everybody has a month and a half still to play so even if we beat the top score no chance. No chance. Uh, Dan says, a game inspired by ZPH, like I said, James started a trend. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm glad to have influenced some people to make a bunch of games, because we all get to play them, which is, which is super cool. More games equals more fun. Oh, that was risky. Risky. So what is the name of, does the robot have a name in Jumping at Shadows? These these are obviously the characters and the graphics and sound from the big platformer game, Jumping at Shadows, that's coming out soon. Mm -hmm. So Cyrano J is watching. Um, but the, the, the robot guy may not have a name. I'm sure they, I'm sure he does. By now, they're, they're pretty far along. Uh, VVG Double Down oh, says, if I had a game programming, programming knowledge, I'd be all over it. Sadly, I'm only a hardware guy. <laughs> well, we use your joysticks to play these games. It's very important. I suggest Cogsworth uh, Metal Bottom. Sounds like a good name. Yeah, it is a good name. Oop. Good. Bye bye, bot. Oh, the bots are out today. Bots are in full force. What score did you get? Oh, two two six six four or something like that. Okay. Or sorry, two six six four, not two two. That would be a lot. Yeah, yeah. That'd be top top score. You'd be winning the prize. That'd be a lot. Game called Jumping at Shadows with no jumping. Not in this game. 
No jumping in this version of Jumping in Shadows. But there is a line. Oh, Cyrano must have uh, stepped away for a bit. Mm. Oh, he, he went zzzz. Maybe he fell asleep. <laughs> and leaned on his keyboard. No, he's back. 5858 is the current high score. Cyrano, what are the names of the two characters that we're seeing on the screen right now? Is this getting harder on some levels? Vitoko it is. Says? Uh, I think it's getting, he is Gradual getting, gradually getting faster. Yeah. Oh, sorry, phone rang. Okay, no problem. We'll accept it. That's a fair excuse. That's for a very good excuse. <laughs> no. Cats are a good excuse. Yes. Phone ringing, good excuse. Small children, meh, maybe. Mm. We'll accept it sometimes yeah. under some circumstances. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Oh, good night, S. Ramirez. I expect high scores soon. <laughs> <laughs> See if you can beat our, our, our high score in the uh, previous game. I, uh, I'll call them Stealthy Burglar and Redzo. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the player is Moth and the robot is Robot One Blocker Dash Sprite. <laughs> Catchy name. Very nice. Makes it easy for programming, I'm sure, that a name like that. No spaces. <laughs> Oh, you're watching the game? He is. Very intently. Did... Intensely, I should say. Intently. intently. <laughs> With lots of intent lots in his of heart. Lots of intent. That's right. Oh, no! Cat. I thought I got it. Okay, it's Two, my six, turn. Three, zero. Um, I think Pixel used to attack the screen. On certain commercials and things. No, like in the game. Like yeah. Like when we were playing games, we had to be bad cat he would well, climb all over there yeah he would he would he Not did like cat. attacking screens Not he was cat. obsessed with this telus communications ad which is like a telecommunications phone company internet blah, blah, blah. uh internet all that stuff they used to have these ads with white backgrounds and and animals and there was one where a hummingbird would fly across the screen and he would launch across the room at our flat screen <laughs> tv and it would come on and the two of us would jump out of our chairs and panic trying to block him from like yeah. nose diving into the tv it was modern really tvs funny. would be knocked over now oh yeah he he could have really damaged both himself and the tv oh yeah like, like very, very badly, because it was a very convincing hummingbird. <laughs> he was like, "Oh my God, kill!" But yeah, must kill yeah. hummingbird. Yeah, one hundred percent. Like cat instinct kicked in, and there was no domestic cat anymore in the house. <laughs> no. It was, it was just a feral. pure raw feral cat at that point. I am feral cat. Yeah. Luckily, these cats only look at the TV. They don't attack the TV. They're much calmer in that respect. Spy versus spy. Yeah, he does look like a spy, doesn't he? Yeah. He's got the... Uh... No! Oh! Damn it. That was worse than me. I was, I was <laughs> flying, too close to the, flying too close to the sun. Yeah, exactly. And that's what the problem was. Cyrano says, need to add a few things to this, like the blue-red flash. It, it works without it. Blue-red. Oh, it's, it's fine. It makes it riskier it does it does you have to kind of think ah do i have enough, enough time, time? Uh, yeah. yeah i like the sparkly balls or what oh they're very nice flames in orbs. It, it looks like a flame in an orb yeah that's Damn exactly it. it what is it oh you ate so much already Oh, I know, I know. Hungry. hungry <laughs> Poor hungry cat. Yeah, I know. You want food all the time. Yeah. Yeah. How are you doing? Says I want food. At least you're not attacking Bernie. Yeah. Like your brother. That's a bad habit, cat. Uh, VVG says my stepdad's 112 pound German Shepherd will damn near knock over the screen if we're watching a hunting show and oh that deer is close God. to the TV. Wow. Oh, it's up close on the TV. That is dangerous. that is dangerous. How many TVs yeah. have you got? German now? Shepherd. Those are aggressive dogs too. Yeah. Yeah. Ah, uh, that's what they are. Otherwise known as the portal gems in Jumping at Shadows. Nice. Gems. Mm. Fiery portal gems. Mm -hmm. <sighs> I 
Check his little shuffle. Moth's shuffle. We're here. Party time for kittens. Oh. Party time for kittens. Ooh, someone's trying to set them up for the next round. Oh boy. That's how you get Atari to win. That's Just true. Get dope up. Sprite. <laughs> Slow the black cat Are down. Coming? Are you coming? Atari. Take me. I can hear him. He's running down the He's stairs. He's coming down the stairs. Ooh, this is getting risky now. There you are. Do you want some catnip? I think I have two, uh... You can see them. You can see them. Okay. Let me put one on the zero-page coaster that I have that's a little bit wet. Ew. <laughs> There's the zero-page coaster, and here's a lid. Would you like some catnip kitties? Can you see them on the screen? I think you can. There you go. There's a little bit for you. <laughs> Yum, 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 yum. Who triggered that? Kitty uppers. It was Gamma Dev. Thank you, Gamma Dev. Thank you, Gamma Dev. Oh, it's getting fast now. Happy, happy, hi, kitties. Yes. This game is kind of relaxing. Kind of relaxing. It is. Ooh, I'm in trouble soon. It's getting, the guy's getting very speedy. And I don't know what his timeout right is. Oh, you eating each other's? Oh. Of course. He's like, you no try, one. you stole my treats. I'm stealing your cat now. <laughs> no one is more deserving of it than me, says both of them. Hey, Ray! gamer composer. Thank you. Thank you for the raid. How many people coming in? Uh, there's two coming in with Gamer Welcome. Composer. Thank you so much for joining our stream. We are playing... Mothline. Mothline for the Jaguar. Atari Jaguar. And I've just beaten the high score. Yay. I think. No, was it 5858? 4848. Oh, I can't remember now. Five something. Must it was five be 5858 something. Five eight, five eight, because it's too easy. Yeah. It is a uh, version of Packline, I guess you would, yes, you would say. Yeah. if you've heard of that. Or Paku Paku. Paku Paku originally, then Pack Line for the mm -hmm. Pico 8. And we are currently giving our cats on the center screen some catnip. He's very happy right now. Are you happy? Somebody triggered the cat. No! Oh, no! No! Five, Five seven, seven, three, three eight. eight. Doesn't matter. There's a month and a half to go. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, your turn. My turn? Yep. Okay. Put in a score. Yay! Denied. <laughs> Denied. Dun, dun, dun. Raid. Got greedy. I was greedy the whole... That was terrible. Yeah, that was terrible. I was terrible. greedy the whole time. I was playing it close to the line, trying to get that guy. And it was it was really short by the end. Oh, the yeah. The amount of time that you had to get him. It was like, nah. That's too short. <laughs> I should have stopped. Stopped getting him. How many points is it for when you get him? Those are one point. They don't seem to go up. Ah, missed it. Three, four, five, six, oh, come seven. On. Three, eight, seven. Seven, three, eight. Fifty points? Cyrano, is it fifty points? getting the uh, dude <laughs> looks like 50 yeah okay so i i saw 50 and double down saw 50 so i think it is 50. so it's 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 a fair amount in relation to clearing a line that's for sure check in the code Cyrano says <laughs> he's forgotten <laughs> What are you doing? That was terrible. 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 Terrible score. Definitely 50. Definitely 50. Definitely. Yep. Just saw it again. 50. Exactly 50. Yeah. It doesn't seem the points... You're kicking me. The points go up as the levels go up. It's just 1, 1, 1, 1, 1 for the dots, 50 for the guy. Level is just for... Yeah, you made it to 50. 50 for a ghost, one for a pill. Mm -hmm. 
I'll put in my score and then maybe try again when it's the end of May for another okay. score. Sounds good. We'll see. It's probably going to be up like 10,000 by then. Oh, I'm sure. I'm like, 10,000, forget it. <laughs> So, we have continued on with our Martin Scorsese uh, oh. film marathon. <laughs> Terrible. 12 Oh, come on. Uh, we had day three on Saturday. Mm -hmm. and we watched uh, five more films. First one was After Hours, which probably nobody knows. It's a weird film. Weird film. But a guy who just stumbles into a bunch of stuff. And he's crazy, just trying to get stuff. home. Yeah. That's that type of film. Just bad luck everywhere that he induces. Pretty um, much. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's pretty much his fault, all the stuff he gets into. Then a tragically terrible TV episode that he uh, directed. Oh, from the Amazing, Stor amazing, amazing Stories. Amazing Stories. Yeah. Just a guy who sees a demon in a mirror. Yes. But only in the mirror. It was very not. But that's the plot. Great. Oh, it's yep. terrible. Terrible. No story to it whatsoever. I, I just told you the whole thing. That was the whole story. <laughs> they could have done more because he was a writer and he's like, yeah, I don't get scared by my own stories. It's like, okay. Yeah. Uh, next one was Color of Money, which everybody's heard of. Um, I'd never seen. I was actually uh, excited to watch it because I remember like the ads for it and the poster for it. Yeah. Tom Cruise from when I was young. Newman. Yeah, it was it was a good film. Very good. I film. thought it was very well done. Yeah, the, the, it started off a little little slow, a little rocky, but then it got better and better. Uh, I love that episode. It's by, by far the scariest <laughs> oh. episode of Amazing Stories. Oh, that's not good. Oh, really? I mean, it is, it is frightening. It is kind of frightening, but it doesn't have much of a story to Nothing it at to all. It. They really yeah. could have amped it up. Yeah. Fifteen ninety four. Oh, it's not good. Better. I did way better the first time I played. Um. Then we watched uh, a music video. I think the only music video he's ever directed. Probably hated it after that. I didn't even know it was him. I don't know why I didn't know it was him. But... He directed Michael Jackson's Bad video. Yeah. I did not know it was him until putting this together. I did not together. know that either. Uh, we watched the 18 minute version of it. Yes. Um, the story is so sparse. It's he's it, Michael Jackson goes to a highfalutin school high school none of the people in this look like high schoolers no they failed 10 grades all of them but uh <laughs> wesley snipes is in it which is fantastic wesley snipes yes. debut -ish? debut something debut. like that one of the first things he was in i he's think not bad in it. I he mean, is there's, very good. he's given nothing to do but um and he co goes back to his uh old neighborhood which is really run down and they don't think he's bad anymore because he's because he's all <laughs> prepped up going to this really expensive high school prep school yeah prep school and and that's the story then he dances and then he then in they a go, subway then they go yeah, then they leave him he's alone. still bad yeah 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 he's, he's an excellent dancer it it was very bizarre <laughs> oh. bizarre and terrible i'm just not doing very well no I'll play it one more time since yep. we're talking. And the last movie, uh, Last Temptation of Christ. Yes. Um, looks good. Acting was fine. It was fine. Um, uh, I, story had a nice twist to I guess it. I... I uh, the twist was kind of cool. But other than that, it's like for Bible thumpers only. Yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, I think... For me, it carries no if, weight. If you're a religious person, it might be like, oh, oh, shocking. Oh it might be more then, interesting. Then something but else happens. Like, to me, it, it's Not just... being particularly religious people, yeah. I, I think we lose a little bit in the meaning. So. And the impact. Um, and the impact of, of it. Of the changes. It was well done. I, yeah. I read... So Harvey Keitel is in it. Uh, and so is Willem Dafoe. And Willem, Harvey Keitel. Willem, Willem Dafoe is fantastic yes, and got nominated for a Best Supporting Actor or something at the Oscars. Harvey Keitel got a Razzie <laughs> for his role as Harvey Keitel <laughs> as as Judas. Yeah. And uh, yeah, he he's his Harvey accent. Keitel Oof. with a red wig on. Like it was quite quite. The wig quite, was pretty good. I'll give the it wig was good. <laughs> It um, didn't look right, but it uh, was good. Yeah, it's like 
Oh, it's a it's a Martin Scorsese film. We gotta shove Harvey Keitel in there somewhere. So <laughs> yes, the soundtrack by Peter Gabriel is was pretty good. It yeah. had a good variety of yeah. music. Some like modern was, that um, did kind of stood out a bit. It was a, a film I o- always wanted to see. Yes. Oh <gasps> no! Knew it. I'm just terrible. Okay. Uh, um, have you gotten to King of Comedy? Yes, yes. I do like that movie. Yes. I do like it. It's it's really, really good. Yeah. Cyrano says, nailed the ending. <laughs> Absolutely. <Cyrano. laughs> Um, so it was a mixed bag. I thought they were all pretty good. Yeah, in their own way. Um, we watched New York, New York last time. Oh, oh that's I a do not recommend stinker. sitting through that one. I will never watch that again. Yeah. I yeah. would rather watch Amazing Stories than watch New York, New York. Oh, that was a bad. It's probably one. that's the lowest on the list. I think so. I, think I gave it a two. Um, King of Comedy still holds up really yes, well. Really and if well. you watch. Joker. So we're going to go into the next game, Maze. The new version of Joker, there's a ton of references in the new version of Joker. Yes. To King of Comedy. Just Joker. There's only one Joker. Where the, well, the new... Oh, the I guess there Joker. is only one Joker movie. Yeah. Not the comics. <laughs> yeah, sorry. No, no, yeah. you're right, you're right. Erlin, hey, Erlin. New hey, York, Erlen. New York is really bad, says Erlin, yes. <laughs> really bad. Really bad. Erlin did miss that one. Yeah. Erlin, you should have been <laughs> yeah. there for it. Really missed out. It was rough. It was rough. Hi. Absolutely terrible. Totally uneven. Makes you <laughs> hate Robert De Niro. Like as a as a person, as an actor. Because oh. you're like, is that how he really is? No. Oh my god. No, it's, not not it's his absolute best. Absolute waste of money. Not his best film. New York, the, New York nearly ended his career. Yes. yes yeah. Yep. Uh, which was a common theme of that time period. Big name director does a huge musical and bankrupts them. Yeah. Now, the title yeah. song is very good. Yes, and it Liza is. Liza Minnelli sings it very well. And, and she's a g- great singer in this. Oh, th- I, there are no so issues. If you're a fan with... of Liza Minnelli. Yeah. Maybe you won't And or it. saxophone music. Yeah. <laughs> we yeah. haven't we haven't gotten Not to Cape Fear yet. We're doing it in order. We are doing them all in order, and it's taken many weekends to do it so it'll take about 100 hours how many 11 11 days we have yeah. 11 days of martin scorsese spread out over so many weekends up to 1988 yes um so this a lot of films this is maze by dr typo nice who did dr typo collection fallen angels uh gem race rings uh shoot em up shoot em up 3d tube 2020 and tube se you can download this in the atari age forums um, so he says, uh, here's Maze, a new game I'm working on. The goal is simple. Find the exit, avoid lava floor, and use the keys to cross new areas. The game features flat shaded 3D, uh, with coder colors and new Hive Leaf player. Test on real hardware with a skunk board and on big PMU, and we're using Jaguar Game Drive, which it works on as well. Uh, and this is the new version released with more mazes, nine total, and a scoring system. So it says there, force field, you shall not pass. So force field, fast lane, blue, speed ups. So don't cross the reds, which is the same as the edges. Floor is lava, jump over. So orange and red, okay. no goes. Charge station. Green is good, as per usual. Green and blue are good. Nothing special. Diamonds are nothing. Okay. Uh, open, open the door, door with, with the key. key. So is the X the door? One way pass, so you can go through but not back. Okay, so the arrow red. Exit. Exit. Okay. Exit. So, are you ready? Force Have field, you shall not pass. So reds are bad, oranges are bad. Everything well, you else... just can't go past them. Blue, you speed up. Floor is lava, okay. Maybe by the time you get to Hugo, you'll have a VR headset so you can watch it in 3D. Mm, probably not. Oh, it's very loud. What is jump? Uh, might be A or C to practice it before you do it. Turn around and turn. Around. Oh, you thought over it. Okay. Uh, I don't think I guess you could turn around. Uh, Doctor Typo said, "By the way, the maze is lo- maze is loosely based on a ST Amiga game released in 1990. You control a craft in a maze-like map with force fields to destroy. There are turrets and various enemies that shoot at to shoot at. And various collectibles. This one you don't shoot in though. Okay. This game. This uh, the first one uh, to find the title of the game will get the ST Connoisseur Award. And Cyrano J guessed uh, Simulcra." Correctly. Yay! So, yay, you found the exit. 50 seconds. Buffering messed up. The walls are flickering. Oh, the wall did Mine? flicker. Oh, did it? Just for a second. 
maybe the Jag GD isn't 100%. It was only at the end, though, right? I don't see it flickering That's now. Blue. Blue's good. Blue's fine. Speed up. Ooh, crazy time. Oh, good cornering. So up, down to accelerate, break, left, right to turn, C to jump. You can leave the game by pressing numpad and number. Scoring system. Each maze gives a fixed number of points. Additional points given if the maze is completed in a less than specified time. Uh, additional points for energy left. You lose points if you explode. Usually that's the number. Flickering on turns. No, no, I don't see any. Maybe, uh, like very slight flickering. Any. We'll go there. there you go. Found the exit! Wait, time is 109. Points 200, energy bonus 100. I don't see a countdown. Is it the top? Is that counting down or. I think it was counting up. I saw a flicker when it changed mazes. No, that's a... Oh, that's speed. And then it's counting up. And it shows a direction. Yeah. I don't see any flickering on turns. Um, so you might want to reload the stream or change the frame rate if you're watching at 30 frames a second. Jump's pretty high. Those keys? Those no, that's the exit. Ah, I need whatever key. Okay. No! Too oh. early. Oh, that scared me. I think you have a bit of shield. Not to worry about that too much. It's not in there. Dead, dead ends. Can I go through those? No, I can't go through those. 60 ones. source, like an interlace effect. Hmm. Nope. Damn. We can't jump over those either? No. No. I don't... I, I'm not seeing it on the TV here. Let me just look at it on the computer. I don't see it on the output on the computer the either. Where's the key? Ugh. Keep tracing the walls. So it might be Twitch messing up? I would reload. Just in case. I need the pink to get in to get the key. Can I go this way? I swear I have already. Ooh. I haven't seen where the pink key is. Oh, this is gonna be a terrible round. <laughs> I've already confused myself on where I've been and where I haven't. Been. Maybe that's so you yeah. have to get a what? A, a yellow key, key? and yellow. a pink key, and I think I need the pink key to get the yellow key. Okay. Keep my eyes open. Oh, this is not going well. I'm obviously missing something here. It's just you won't get bonus. It's not, you're not gonna die. I don't think there is death in this game. The lava. You run out of power, can you? Uh, yes, that's true. Do so I go this way? Uh, this Double Down way. doesn't see anything. So it might be Twitch. I would just reload. See if that helps. Follow the walls. Well, no, I have followed the walls. I've been everywhere. I'm missing something. Something I can go through or can't go through. I swear I've been this way. Then there's this, and I can't go through that. And then it's up here. And then this Nothing is there. a dead end. Let's I've see. been to all these Corner. places already. Is this way? No, nothing. You can't go through those. No, nope. I keep. tried it already. Ugh. Press the map button. Map button? What? That wasn't in the instructions. There's a map Double button. Down's just like messing with us. So, there's the key. But I need the pink to get the key. Did I go through here? Maybe I uh, didn't go through here. You haven't seen here. that. I haven't got, seen you go through okay. that. Okay, okay. This looks new, possibly. Yeah, this mm. is new. There's the key. There we go. Okay. Well. Oh. Maybe, oh, maybe. good steering tax. Maybe pick it up. Maybe. Oops. That was terrible. Oh, 
There's some weird backgrounds behind the numbers and the key. I don't know if those are intentional. Pink door now, right? Can I play the next level? Yeah. This corner here. Yellow key. key. Have you seen the Do yellow? I just want to go out the exit? Do I need to go anywhere else? Cause well, I would think if you give gives you a yellow key. There's two yellow doors, but I just need to get out the exit. So. Oh, maybe the the yeah. exit. Careful. Nope. Find the green. Power up. Here. There you go. One more there you go. That looked great. And and very that's, that's it. That's the exit. Ooh. That wasn't very good. Uh, that's okay. No time bonus. Explode malice? What is that? <laughs> Psych, says PPG. <laughs> there is okay, no there is the bounce. Button. There's the power up. Let's probably use that blue strip lava. next time. More lava. Ow! Ow! Oh, you're gonna die! Caught on the corner. Oh, this is a big one. Mm -hmm. Oh, there's some green. That is a no-go. Yeah, you need a key for that. I think I'll refuel while I'm here. Is that full? Mazes are not my forte. Yeah, even if mazes aren't your forte, you just keep going around and around until you find what you're looking for. Yep. There's, There's a, key. a key. Oh, behind nice. there. Excellent. Get caught in the corner. Good job. Yellow key. It's probably a dead end. Maybe. Yep. <laughs> we'll ask Dr. Typo for a ZPH dark maze. No! Yeah, the last maze is a dark one. And, and it get, they give you a lot of green power-ups so you can restore yourself. And, uh, please do not ask Dr. Typo to do that. Just for me. So we didn't see a yellow door, did we? There was a blue one. Yeah. Probably have to open the yellow door. Oh, was that a blue key? That's a blue key down that. Nope. That, that way. Yep, yep, yep. Excellent. Key out in the open. Very, very good. Yes, now we can go through the blue door. Wherever that might be. That Serrano, one. cut out for a bit there. I heard please do ask Dr. Typo. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I missed. <laughs> Charles Sidoni now. Word. Now can this be made into a linear version? <laughs> <laughs> uh the nope. <laughs> Not that I can think of. Oh yeah, speedy, speedy speed. speed on the speed carpet. Nope, nothing down that way. That is the beginning of the game. So whenever I see this, that means I am in the wrong place. There's nowhere to go. Now no, that's that back. That is back okay. as well. And, and I think like, there was a blue door somewhere, wasn't there? There was, like really close. No, stop. No. There, there. it is. I definitely have to go through this. Absolutely. Here's the yellow door. All right, so you get both keys. And we're taking off to the exit. Ah, steering problems. There it is. Woo! Good job. Oh, time bonus. Yay. Good job. That was fast. Pattern indicates one-dimensional <laughs> thinking, Captain. Oh, it's the purple door. Okay, purple door. Yellow door. Oh, with the exit. I'm, I'm uh, really enjoying the music, by the way. Very good music. It's very, ah. very entertaining music. Ooh, lots of purple doors. Purple. Great music. Good chance. The other way. 
Fun game. I love the controls. Yeah. Bouncing I like, around. I like me a good, a good maze game. I do. I'm not always great at them, but like I do enjoy them. Games. Maze games, puzzle games. Because they're, they're memorization. Yeah. And that is not fun to me. And to, uh, to, be, uh, to be fair, my memorization is not as good as it once was well, for games like this. You destroy me in memorization, especially <laughs> patterns. Patterns. Oh, my I'm God. I'm good with patterns. You did that Christmas game, pattern game. For, was it that one that yes. you just destroyed? Yeah, even I was quite surprised how long that went on You're for. up to, like, 22 pattern I matching? don't know. It, yeah. It was, oh it was sounds and pattern matching, and then by the end, I was like, what is going on? This is, this is <laughs> How am I doing time. this? Wait, 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 wait. The car can jump, says Erlen. <laughs> yes, it can. It, can boy. it reminds me of, like, the Star Wars universe and that tiny little robot that would run around on the ground. I don't know what they're called. Uh, I'm not a big Star Wars person, but... Little garbage can? No, one? they were like little... They, they, the I, they were like little spy robots or something. They were teeny tiny. Oh. They ran around and bumped into I things. I know there are people out there who watch a lot of Star Wars. You know what I'm talking about. Oh, I know. The mouse? Is that what it's called? I don't uh, know. I think it is. Is it? Yeah. Yes. Mouse spot. I love Mouse those. Mouse spot. They were adorable. They were. I'm sure they contain like a nuclear bomb in them or something. <laughs> like they're terrible, but um. I've got the blue key. They were cute. Is that the blue key? Yeah. Okay. I need the purple key. Charge it up good. The controls are really good. Yeah, and they, they're really, quite really smooth and easy, and you can speed up and slow down. Oh, Yay, there it is. I get to use it. Get out. Yeah. There's I a yellow I'm key over there. I know I'm supposed to go in here. Oh, my God. More mazes. Oh, oh, there's a pink key. That's definitely <laughs> what I need. Excuse me. My voice is all Croaky. Croaky today. Uh oh Mine, too. Oh, it's in the corner. Everyone around me at work uh -oh. has been sick. No. And it's freaking me out because every every time I have a Don't bring it home. chatting with someone or I have a meeting with someone, they're telling me how horribly sick they were two weeks ago. Uh, and I'm sitting here going, I don't. Oh, they're reassuring you that. Oh, thank no. you for passing your germs now. on to me. Oh, it just I'm only at the tail end out. of contagious. Yeah. Uh. That's it. Is okay. It? Oh, the pinky, and then there's a yellow key over there, oh, but I don't know how you get to that. Well, let's try and Probably stay have to go around. around. Yeah. But you have a pinky. That's good. Yes. I'm gonna go in that direction. Try and get over there. Canonically, oh, Gamma Dev. Gamma Dev's been looking stuff up on. Canonically. Canonically, the they are the MSE-6. Oh, six. I see six. what you did there, George. <laughs> Uh. Imperial Repair Droid. Oh. oh. Really? The tiny little nice. floor scudders? Well, they scudders? get under the bigger droid. I don't know. Or maybe they just repair, yeah. like, like, um, um, I don't know, like, the plugs that are at, like, floor height, <laughs> yeah. you could know? Be. Yeah, they could be simple you know? repairs. Oh, the, uh, uh. the plug that the vacuum droid needs to, to plug the vacuum That's in. That's right isn't working, I'm gonna go re repair the little floor level plug. Yay, I got the yellow key. And they scare easy too. Yeah, well clearly. <laughs> Yay, yellow. Tiny. Oh, you didn't get it. Get it. Yay, All yellow the key. keys. Now I have to find my way out of this maze. This is probably in behind you because I haven't seen any exit. Surprise Lucas didn't sue <laughs> Yeah. Well, it didn't have a vacuum on board, so. No. You know, there's that. Didn't show any vacuum capabilities. No. Here. Please be here. I figure these all these little droids have very rich personal lives. You know, yep. they interact with each other a lot. and. Yeah, well, they do talk to each other, like R2-D2 and C-3PO have lengthy and conversations. And I do, I do remember watching the droids cartoon way, way back in the day in the 80s, Yeah. which I enjoyed, but I cannot remember anything about it. But there is something about the droids that is charming and more interesting than the humans sometimes, to be honest. <laughs> oh, is this it? Oh, hey! 
I got gossip a time bonus. between droids must be next level. Uh, I agree, Erlen. Yeah, because the humans don't really care about the droids and what they overhear. They don't care no, at all. No, they just say everything in front of them. Yeah. I mean, yeah. So yeah, the gossip would be next level. Yeah. The droids cartoon was excellent. Yeah, it's been a long time, but I do. They had the Ewoks and the droids, and they'd be back to back. They'd play them one next to each other, and I really remember enjoying both of them. But the droids one I remember being really good. Okay, my turn. Yep. A to continue. A to continue, and C is the jump, right? Yep. yep. Okay. I know that was a long level. <laughs> oh, what level are we on? Five, six, uh, five or six. Gamma Dev, did you ever watch the Clone Wars series? In the very last episode, you real feel feel for the fate of some of the droids. We did not watch. No, the Clone that's Wars. not one I ever saw. I'm just not terribly interested in anything Star Wars. <laughs> I I will There's get. There's so much more to watch. I'll get sucked into the ones that people recommend. Yeah. Um. I did watch the Obi Wan. I don't know why. I just really wanted to. Yeah. Uh, I thought it was better than I think most critics did. I didn't think it was that bad. Yeah, we didn't watch um, Mandalorian, but we, we did. Watch we watched some a bit of, of Andor. We haven't seen all of it. Okay. It was decent. good. Yeah. I thought it was good. I have yeah. totally lost track of where I am in this. Okay. Okay. Yeah. There were two versions of Clone Wars cartoons. Hi. Oh, you're adorable. No claws. No. Hi. Watch the rest of Andor. Oh. Okay. I know. I do want to watch the rest of it. We I have do. to. We have to finish but off. But Fallout, Fallout comes first because we're really enjoying Fallout. Yeah. Which it is feels excellent. like watching somebody play Fallout. It does, which is with what I really did. Really good graphics. <laughs> um, I watched you play New Vegas. Yep. And it's way. um, I love at the end they do a fly through of the new area that's been explored in the episode. They yes. just do a flyover of like video game level graphics, like really high-end video game level graphics. Um, and I'm like, oh, that's cool. You kind of get to see it slowly as, it, as they drift over it. That was very, very cool. The first version was done by the same person who did Dexter's Lab. Oh, ah. of Clone Wars. Last four episodes of Clone Wars is basically a parallel movie to Revenge of the Sith. And I contend it's the number two Star Wars movie of all time, just behind Empire Strikes Back. Wow, that's high praise. That is high praise. Dead end. Bad Batch is excellent. Okay. It's a needy yellow key. A key somewhere. I think the levels just get bigger. They are, and, and now <laughs> I'm even huge. more lost than We yeah. may finish on this level. This is because long. it's the last one was big and this one looks I even see bigger. something yellow over here. Oh, Chow Stony Mao is out of here. He says All he's right. gotta wake up way too early oh, tomorrow. No. Cool well, games tonight. Have fun, gang. Thank you so much. Been this way. See you like next time. The Bad Batch sometimes. manages to have a child in it that isn't completely annoying. That is a bonus. That is I, extremely uh, rare. <laughs> almost 100% find all children in movies and TV shows annoying. No, not 100%. There's lots They're of good children. Always just tag alongs. You just drove over that. And I jumped, you almost but died. I didn't jump high enough. Yeah. You didn't jump at all. I, I hit the button, but it didn't <laughs> jump. Um, yeah, they're tag-alongs, they slow things down, they contribute nothing, they get captured. So negative. They're whiny. So negative. Well, I'm telling the truth. Not being negative, just being real. Um, <laughs> they're usually cutesy. Ow! Claw cat. Unlike cats who are mean and vicious. <laughs> they're mean and vicious. They are always orphans. Always because orphans. otherwise people would go, oh, those parents are terrible. <laughs> So their parents very true. have to die every time. If they're not already dead, they're dead soon. <laughs> um I'm trying to think of unless it unless the show focuses around the parents and it's a family yeah. movie. What you, dead. Are you, so you don't like Stranger Things? Because I think that's a good use of oh. kids. Yes, that's one of the rare cases. <laughs> Where they have 
Well, they're the main characters. So that helps a lot. When they're not the main characters, it's a problem. <laughs> Where they contribute nothing. They're just they're just there to be captured. <laughs> Zero says the kids are only there to get captured or do stupid shit. No Wesley syndrome. Wesley. Oh poor Wesley Crusher. I always liked Wesley Crusher. <laughs> he could have been not a bad rap. Uh, yeah. Well, did he? He was pretty whiny in one of the episodes. Yeah, but he was Shut up, not, Wesley. He was not that bad. <laughs> And as we know from anime and video games, the most powerful creatures in existence are orphans with amnesia. <laughs> True. Ooh, there it is. Gee, uh, Finally. Finally. Ah, come on. No, you touched it too. You ran over it. Bounding it's box okay. of that is. Hitbox of that is very small. <laughs> it's like the center of the key. No, I'm not getting any bonuses this round. Let's me tell you. I don't know. I took a long time and I still got time bonuses. I think he's very generous with um, the time bonus. Unless he needs to be real bad. I have to find where this yellow door is now. I'm very, very lost. Yeah. Oh, there it is! There's one! There's you know one! You're going I the think right there's direction. at least two. For some reason, I think there's at least two. Oh, there's a purple door. Oh, and you're heading towards it. Bunk. Ah, ah. Some green power up. You only need it if 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 it, you're not in the green there. Yeah. So. I don't, I don't think so. These are all unexplored yellow areas. Where is the pink? There's a pink door. Pink door. I want the pink key. Give me the key. key. Switch to the map. Oh, I think I saw it. Is it up that it. way? I think I saw it. It's right... Behind the fire there? I think as you got close in time, it was like over there. So we've been watching a lot of films lately. Mostly Martin Scorsese. <laughs> Killers of the Flower Moon is still not on DVD. Or, really? Or um, 4K Blu-ray. Blu-ray or 4K. Yeah, okay. Just it's only streaming. Might still be in some theaters? I don't know. Uh, it, it is out in Italian Blu-ray. Italian Blu-ray? Yeah. That's it so far. I'd rather not buy that. And my 4K drive is not playing 4K movies very well. Some of it, some of them it was. Uh, some of it was stuttering. So I bought another 4K drive. The door. No, it's not the... So I just got the next 4K drive today. So we're gonna see how that does. It's gotta be beyond the yellow door area. Have you been down that blue strip? Mm, have I? The blue strip. Is that I the yellow door so. I came out of? I think yes, so. It is. Or came into. I would go to the blue strip. I think you're correct. I don't think I've been up this way yet. I think I went, ooh, fire, and I went right to Apple that. needs content for its three and a half thousand dollar VR device. Pack line! Woo! Pack line. Oh, it's nothing! Nothing! Oh. Send me down the wrong path. I think that yellow door is just. Nothing. Red herring. I don't think there's herring. anything down there. Yellow this herring. Way. Yellow herring? Yeah. Whatever you want to call it. <laughs> Whatever color herring. What exactly is the character of this game? It looks like a robot vacuum. Could be. Yeah. Could be. You're vacuuming up uh, the keys. You're you're sent to clean this maze of all the keys. <laughs> yeah. Vacuum it all. Yeah. Get nice, nice stripy lines our, at the uh, end. Our oh. vacuum robot is doing a very good job. Uh, we're very happy with our vacuum robot. Yep. Um, every day, I, I watched because um, the vacuum kind of finishes at lunchtime, so I get to see Sprite's reaction to the vacuum. So today. As soon as the vacuum said, all done, or whatever it says, he walked over to its charging station. Really? Sat beside it and waited for it to come out, to come up to the dock. To watch it? To watch it get into the dock. Oh, that is yeah. so cute. So he knows it's, it's, it's pattern now. Cats are not riding yet. Um, no! Atari does not like to. it. No, Atari is not. He stays down away with from it. Robot. He's not scared of it, but he's just not yeah. a fan of it. 
He's more like, yeah, no, no, we're not doing that. Sprite is curious about it. Yeah. Um, is not, you know, a, a, he, he kind of likes it. He's interested in it. He's not riding it. I doubt he would ever ride it. Uh, he's not, yeah, I don't know. He's we might be able to cat. convince him. If we put some treats on it, maybe. I don't know. Ooh. <laughs> that would be interesting. Treats, catnip, something. Here we go. Papa. Yeah, he, pa, would, pa, pa. he would knock it off. I don't think he'd get on there, but that's okay. Yeah. Oh, I'm still it running doesn't say around what in circles here. It doesn't say what it is, this character. Is this nope. Mm. No. I'm you can't select which trying. maze you go to at the at the start menu. Oh, you can pick so the maze you want to So you can continue on. Yeah. If you good. if you didn't finish it beforehand. We're going to finish this maze, and we'll, and we'll, and we'll move on. Lissa. <sighs> Lissa. Because they're just getting bigger and bigger. They're not getting... Oh, you're <gasps> about to Oh die. my gosh. Stop hitting the walls. Um, they're not getting harder. They're just getting bigger. Time to get out the graph paper, map out this level. Exactly. Whoa. That sounds good. I've, I've been through all of this. <laughs> There's obviously some little path that I haven't fallen. Because you haven't seen another key. I haven't seen the pink key, and I need the pink key. But I you've think, seen to get the pink out. door. But I swear there might be two yellow doors, but maybe not. Ooh. Follow a wall, which is not necessarily going to get you there, but it'll get you somewhere. We'll get you through. So there's a pink door. That's a dead end. You can't hit a wall again. You'd be dead. I know, I'm trying to find that green. Yeah. That's a dead end. It's a dead end. Are you following the wall now? Falling wall. No. Uh, <laughs> no. I'll be wandering forever. If it gets warm while recharging, they might be tempted to rest on it. After, I mean, it only runs for 20 minutes and it charges up quite quickly. So I don't. I don't know where the battery is on it. But, um, <gasps> whoa! Fine. Finally! Yay! And you'll never find the pink door. It would be really devious if it was procedurally generated and it didn't persist once sections were culled from drawing. Oh my god, that would be really mean. I wonder if any game has ever done that. Out of sight, like if the maze goes out of your sight, it redraws it. How bad but would still, that be? But still makes it possible to do what you need to do, but redraws the maze. Like um, Dark City. Oh my goodness. <laughs> or Cube, where all the time it goes and reshifts everything. Except in Dark City, they wiped everybody's memories every night. <laughs> Just like yours, because you don't know where the pink door is. It's up this way. Yeah, you saw it? Yay! Don't hit the wall. Be very careful. Okay, very careful. It's a tiny opening. There we go. This has got to be the end. There's a blue There's a blue one, too. <gasps> it is. I saw it. The key yeah. or the door? The key. It's that way. Oh, I think it's the door. One of them. Oh, that's the exit. Yeah, there's, oh, there's the no, door. Another no, another key. No, that's okay. There's a, there's a path down this way. Oh, the labyrinth did that too. That's true. Uh, in in the labyrinth part. Die. Yay! Well, that's something you need. I do need that. I think that's Oof. pretty common then. Uh, that um, mazes shift themselves. Can anybody think of another maze that shifts itself? When people aren't looking? And they're all doing it when people aren't looking. Okay. Oh, no. And then this, I think. 
Maze Runner? I didn't watch that. Did, did they do that in Maze Runner? It yeah, shifts. it shifts. Oh, so no. that's super so, common. The is... So it's outside the purple. Whoa. Oh my god. So you're back to outside the purple. That's not good. And you have, you're nowhere near. There must be two purple doors. Blue key is in another castle. <laughs> Apparently, uh, blue key is in another maze. The Expanse. One of the Prince of Persia movies too. Oh, oh. is that the same one you came in? A different one. Oh, how to trick you? Make them look the same size. Oh, yay! Okay. Head right. Go right back to where I was? Yes. So that's the end of the maze. Explore further. You have full, you have full health. <laughs> it's through the purple. Mm -hmm. Right. Where am I going? Purples. I think it's... It wasn't hopping over I think anything. It was this way. And I'm lost again. There, there it is. is! Yay! And See if you get was. a time bonus. Um, Maybe. It's a it's it a tough straight? one. Yes, it was. At the end of the carpet? The blue carpet? I think so. Blue speed up carpet? Go! Oh, is it after that? Oh, no. no. That was this. That's fine. Uh, D&D movie did it, way. although it was on a strict timer. I didn't see... I, I saw one of the D&D movies. I don't remember that. Something changing in the D&D movies. Here. Yay! Blue door! Yay! Well, there is no time bonus for this one. Let me nope. tell you. Zero, zero, zero. So right down. So what level is this? Oh. It doesn't show what level it is. It's like fourth, fifth. You level? have to remember. <laughs> well, let's press the button and see if it tells us. Oh, now you're at May, May seven. seven. So that was May six. So you did six out of nine. Very, races. very nice. Yeah, great controls. That was fun. Yeah, a lot of fun. <laughs> uh, really good controls. Uh, let me turn off the music. Um, does get more complex, not harder. Mm. I wouldn't say harder in difficulty. Harder in their bigger mazes. Mm. Mm. Um, the recent one with Mini Cooper. Oh, which one would you, did we see? Like the D and D movies that I have to pay attention to. Can't remember the subtitle of it. Dungeons and Dragons. I uh, yeah, I don't remember. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, yeah. yeah, we did watch. It was one of them. it was fine. Yeah, it was fine. Mm -hmm. You liked it more than I did. Great show. Thank you, Dan. Uh, so let's see what's coming up on the stream soon. We're going to be doing an 8-bit day on Friday with Erlen, who's in the chat. Yay! Uh, we're going to be playing Anti-Air, a new one from Inufuto. Okay. That's been cross-platformed to t dozens and dozens of platforms and a whole bunch of games from the recent... A uh, competition whose name escapes me. I can't remember what it is. But uh, yeah, uh, there was a bunch of games that were made for it. I think about eight games. Some of them aren't playable. Some of them aren't, weren't finished. So we won't be playing those. We'll be playing the, f the games that were finished. Hmm. Yeah, so a whole bunch of eight Atari 8-bit games. Um, let's see what else, and then stuff that's in the works coming up. Um, we, I've reached out to Steve Engelhart to do a developer spotlight on Atarius Maximus. Mm -hmm. So hopefully that'll come up soon. Uh, there, we're also going to be having the exclusive update to Microvaders for the links. Plus a live interview with Carl Forehand from Songbird, the distributor of Microvaders and a bunch of other games. 
Uh, we also have the secret homebrew coming up from Champ Games. I don't know if it's the twin stick one or not. Um, plus a live in video interview with John Shampo about that new game. Very exciting. And later next month, uh, we have the Atari 7800. 40th anniversary. That's going to be a lot of fun. Where we play a whole bunch of games on the 7800. All um, three games. After Darks. All the games. Um, yes. And maybe we'll do an After Dark coming up uh, for Tutankham because it's really fun. Oh, yeah, you yeah, should yeah. Play it. I should play it. I haven't really played it yet. So, yeah, yeah that would be fun. Um, that was a good lineup. <laughs> uh, uh, oh, uh, oh, Serena. So funny. <laughs> Yeah, we played four uh, line games. Mouse line, Lola line, Boo Fruit, Jumping at Shadows, Moth line. They all had their own little different uh, different twists on it, which is nice. Mine is like straight up conversion with tiny, tiny tweaks, but it's pretty much pack line for the Pico well, 8. we've conceived of maybe doing another one that's oh, not yeah, an pack add-on. Yeah. Um, and also a twist to have two players yes. at the same time. We had an idea, so we want to... Oh, I forgot. Try that. We were going to show um, um, another game before we go. It's not really a game. It's a demo proof of concept Cool. right now on mm -hmm. the 2600. Let me switch over to that. Is it still on? No? Wakey, wakey. <laughs> it is on, but it's not on. Atari Hot Plus. Ready. What is wrong with Retro Tank? Uh -oh. no power. It says no video on the uh, OBS well, screen. So. Yes, because the Retro Tank is off. Oh. That would be a bigger problem. Mm. Now it's back on. So um, I wanted to show. Um, what is this? Thomas Yench's Packline 8. Nice where he is uh just put a demo of <gasps> that's <Eight> cool <laughs> uh, going all at once um so this is kind of an extension of his car racing game yeah remember the car racing game yes with using paddles and the quad tari yes 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 so you'd be able to play pack line paku paku so he's he's probably gonna have to go back to the switch directions with the one button yeah but that's all you would need is one um, button yes nice that's cool yes I like that. um it's gonna be crazy <laughs> with eight players um, well and i guess how do you win is it just i think he said or i said that he might put the score of the top player at the top and maybe color code it because all the pac-mans are different colors mm. so if say the bottom yellow Pac-Man, which is not far off from the top yellow Pac-Man, yeah. is winning, it will be yellow at the top uh, with the score. Well, it could also just be like a tournament. I mean, you play until you die, and then, then oh, each person keeps playing, and then you have one winner. It's elimination. Um, and then each person who dies speeds up the rest, so it gets faster and faster and faster. That would be a good one as well. That Last be, one to die. Yeah. yeah. Or double down says, yeah. Yeah. I like it. Mm. I also kind of want this as like a screensaver. It's a great screensaver. <laughs> because he's back in the day, that would have been awesome. Oh my god, yes. Way better than flying toasters. Oh, way better. Yeah. Um, because the Pac Men are the same speed as the ghosts, so it just they never get caught <laughs> yeah. and they never eat them. Yeah. Um, but uh, everything looks functional in it. Like the power ups change the ghost to the color, and um, the, the Pac Men don't change directions though. So. And there's mm. no scoring, so mm. I don't know how much he has actually done. That's um, in it's terms still of the back end. Looks very cool. Yes, it looks very very cool. Mm. So, pack madness. Yes. Yes. So uh, it's really cool. Um, and he said he didn't want to interfere with my game, my progress oh. on my game. <laughs> yeah. But it doesn't matter. Mine is very different. It is very than different. His. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and he's he's doing. This eight is so players. cute. All yeah. the pack men are different colors. Very visually nice. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Um, so that's it for today. Let's uh, oh, let's see the results actually of the poll. So maybe I should have split it up. The biggest number was three plus consoles hooked up. Wow. 
Thirty-three percent of people. But lots of hardcore original console players yes, out and there. In second place, twenty-six percent with two consoles hooked up. That's where I fall into it. Mm. And then in third place, twenty percent with all of them hooked up. Wow. Um, and then fifth with zero hooked up, or uh, no, sorry, fourth place zero hooked up, fifth place one hooked up, six percent. Nice. Yeah. Um, so <laughs> that's. It for now, let's see if we can shuffle everyone off to uh, some other deserving retro player. I think I saw that. Um, Atari Beer Pong. Atari Beer Pong. Well, he's is, always is playing, playing some Atari ST. Tuesday night. Yeah. So let's shuffle you off to this person. Also, uh, let's other. see who's in the chat before you immediately uh, do that. Yes. Uh, one second. Atari Beer Pong. Uh, so thanks for hanging out with us. Cyrano Reboot, thank you for making that game and letting awesome. us play it. Awesome. Uh, Pseudo Graphics, Gamma Dev, Double Down, Vitoko, Polygox, Dan ABC, Miss Command, Erlen. Hi, Erlen. Yay. See you on Friday. Um, who else? Uh, the Chalstoni Mao, Rendered Ghost. Ghost. DVG. Oh, double know. down. Already did that one. Yeah. Gamer composer. Yeah. And the raid. Huge ass. Huge ass. ass. Oh, S. Ramirez. I know. Uh, uh, what was I going to say? Um, and to all the awesome developers. Yes. What's uh, what's his name? Daryl. Daryl. Thank you. For letting <laughs> us premiere his awesome game. Um, so let's uh, shuffle you off to Atari Beer Pong. Yes. He's going to be playing some Atari ST games. Thank and, you for joining uh, us. Yes, Hope you have a wonderful us. night. And a wonderful weekend. And we'll yes. see you on Friday for some Atari 8-bit gaming. So we will see you then. Bye-bye, everyone. Bye-bye.